Hi again. This unseemly hullabaloo about Trotskyites infiltrating the Labour Party is just another media attempt to discredit the Corbyn camp. But there's no denying there is, and always has been, enterism, deep or otherwise, but it's probably a couple of thousand Trotskyites, top limit. One bunch of authoritarian power freaks versus another bunch of authoritarian power freaks is what it is ultimately boils down to. And it will be all to the detriment of the working class in whose name they falsely claim to be fighting on behalf of. These Trotskyites, groups, individuals, have been reanimated by the Corby window of opportunity. They spring from mutually hostile parties and groups such as the ubiquitous Socialist Workers' Party, plus Alliance for Workers' Liberty, the Socialist Party, and scores of other grouplets. All are, and are proud of being, Leninists. You cannot be a Trotskyite without being a Leninist. They ultimately base their politics on the Bolshevik coup and its disastrous aftermath that destroyed the hopes unleashed in the 1917 revolution. For the Trotskyites, things only deteriorated when Stalin outmaneuvered Trotsky for total dominance and power in Russia. The Trotskyites were reduced to being shadowy parasites on the communist parties of the Western world. But here, in the weird political fantasy land of the UK, they outgrew the, ho the host body. Now, most of these parasites have evolved to feed on Labour, on the Labour Party zombie entity. How ironic, how fitting the fate of the Labour Party will be. An incredible mixture of implosion and explosion won't be pretty, Yet could be fun to watch from the sidelines, the hostile sidelines. As communists did in the past, Trotskyites create mass front organisations. One thing that they excel at, like the anti-Nazi league, globalised resistance, stop the war coalition. Today it's the People's Assembly, yesterday it was Unite Against Fascism. These act as dams from which the Trotskyite parties fish to exhaustion for new members, moving on to the next issue, leaving these structures to disintegrate. It goes without saying that these parties and groups are usually controlled by a tiny fraction of university-educated middle-class politicos. The true role of these Trotskyite parties and organisations is to prevent or destroy any revolutionary situation outside their control. Divert it, hoover it up and bag it, and smother in genuine, spontaneous, independent working class resistance. Today, they wish to channel this into the Labour Party, into the Corbyn illusion, simultaneously recruiting for their own organisations. They exist just for the sake of existing. They exist for themselves. They combat each other like different but related viruses. Their politics are reactionary, vamped up social democracy with a hidden Leninist agenda. Woe betide the rest of the others should one faction seize power. But that's only in their fevered imaginations and dreams. Us anarchists of the class war, class struggle stripe see them and the entire left as the final defenders of the system. All their pseudo-revolutionary rhetoric aside, we'll never trust any of the 101 brands of the left, social democratic, Stalinist or Trotskyite. They are obsessed with one thing and one thing alone, power. Any developing movements or currents that emerge to take on a system would be wise to ignore their blandishment. They are ultimately the kiss of death. But these Stalino-Trotskyite Cenobites are highly motivated, adaptable to a surface extent. Let's hope that many of them will perish in the forthcoming Labour Party cataclysm. But knowing these Machiavellians, they'll survive in some form, retaining their core beliefs to promote their version of counter-revolution for many of the year. So apart from advising against any participation in the toxic Labour Party farce, we anarchists steer clear the best we can of these Trotskyite parties and groups. Finally, 
A hundred years ago, Lenin famously said, we support the Labour Party like a rope supports the hanged man. Today, these would-be Leninists are not the rope. They are the bloated blowflies buzzing around, depositing eggs on the putrefying corpse of the Labour Party. I hope that hasn't put you off your next meal. Bye.